Hey yo guys, welcome back. My name is HM and I hope you're absolutely fantastic. Today, we're going to be taking a look at a very, very special Bakugan back from Geogon Rising. That would be this Pyrus Jetra. Now, this is a really special Bakugan, as the name implies. This is a Bakugan that was designed, I'm guessing, completely designed by Jet Kuso. I'm not sure how many uh, creative liberties he had with making this Bakugan, but uh, he won the Invitational, I think, two years back, and this is his Bakugan that he got to make, so I'm pretty excited for it. It's like a jellyfish, I think? It's looking like a jellyfish. Great choice, by the way. We need some more aquatic sea creatures. I still want to see a mermaid or like a Sirenoid-esque Bakugan. That would be super sick. Uh, we've got a lot of Bakugan in Legacy that can be remade, and I hope it happens at some point, but uh, I digress. We're gonna get into this, we're gonna check out its stats and see what it's coming with. This one really hurts my collector's heart to open because this is a fan-made Bakugan from one of the biggest Bakugan fans I know, but if I were in Jet Kuso's position, I would want people to open up my Bakugan and see what it's got and how it looks. This is a, this is a huge dream, honestly, so I want to make sure that that dream is fulfilled that he gets to see people open up his Bakugan. He worked very hard for it, so we're gonna go ahead and pop him out of his plastic prison without the trusty scissors. Through all the awful noises, put him down here for now, and open up these cards. There aren't too many cards. Uh, where are my trusty scissors? I seem to have misplaced the trusty scissors. Trusty scissors, no go today, okay. We're just gonna pop this open with our hands, and the tape is going to get stuck to my fingers, as usual. Two strips of tape, why? Okay, we're just gonna tear through it. Ooh, double, ooh, okay. I am a big fan of double orange shield Bakugan, so we have two orange shields here, and yep, that's, dang, guys. Jet got the two best orange shield cores with this Bakugan, that's, Incredible. Is, is there an Aquos Jetra? I think there's a Ventus one and maybe a Darkest one? Interesting. Um, wow, that's that's awesome that it comes with the best scores. Okay, um, we'll check out the Gate Trainer. Hey, that's my guy. Enoch looking pretty cool with the Twilight Axes. Plus 600, two Darkest, and then a minor boost to pretty much everything else. That's pretty rad. All right, and for the character card, we have Pyrus Jetra. Of course, Jetra rocking the red, the standard Jet Kuso red. And if you land on a shield, you get plus 400. So this is hitting 500 plus 800. Uh, I think that's 13. <laughs> Quick math. I'm not going to think about it too much. This is pretty okay. This could be usable if you wanted to use it in a uh, an orange shield deck. I could actually maybe find a spot for this. Four damage isn't too awful either. Uh, if you were to land on a plus six Flaming Fist, you'd be up to ten, which is not terrible. Uh, so, uh, I wouldn't run it for that, though, just because there are plenty other candidates, but the B-Power isn't too shabby. Uh, the standard now is, I think, 1650 to this range, which is nice. So, heck yeah. All right. That's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and get this Jetra pop open because I don't actually have one of those. Let's check out the ball form while it's closed, actually. This looks very legacy. I wonder if that's intentional. Man, this really, this really looks like a legacy Bakugan on the closed side. This is super cool. Uh, you can see, like, the tendrils here on this part. I think it's on both sides. Yeah, all these tendrils. Wow, this looks super sick. Oh, gosh, what's the front? I think this is the back. <laughs> I think that's the back. I'm pretty sure this is the front. So let's go ahead and get this pop open. Bring over this gate trainer and let it focus. Boom. Yeah, there we go. Whoa, oh, the, wow, the top pops up. That's really cool. Dang, yeah, okay, I'm, I'm really digging this. This looks way cooler in person. Neat. I like the, uh, the green. It's very sharp. Uh, there could be maybe a little bit more eye definition, but I'm, I mean, I can always do that. <laughs> I can always do a custom. The black is looking really nice. It's just a solid chunk in the middle. You can see these kind of like tenderly de designs continuing through, which is really neat. I really like how much they brought out the details on this one. 
all in all, this is a pretty, pretty sick Paku gun. There's some black on the back sides of these. That's really neat. Dang. All right. Sweet. That is Jetra, guys. And with that being said, that's going to do it for this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, subscribe. The Swarm's always got space for new members. Uh, we're going to be doing some more unboxings here very soon. Hopefully a hunt. I'm kind of looking forward to getting out there and seeing what we can find that's new. But uh, with that being said, guys, I will catch you in the next one. See ya. Jet loves his spin shots, so I'm going to assume this is a spin shot Bakugan. Yep.